Oh, you got to hear me. The day you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I don't care what kind of curse you were born into. I don't curse what, I don't care where you came from. I don't care what family you came from. I don't care what kind of curse was operating in your life. The day you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, the curse lifted. Two or three of you said amen. Are you hearing me? <clears throat> the curse lifted. So, there's a change that is about to happen in Ruth's life. She accompanies her mother-in-law to Bethlehem of Judah. Two widows with no support, no husband, no son, return to Judah. And it is evident that as they enter that city, they are depressed. Certainly Naomi is. Because when Naomi gets into the city, the women see her and they say, Oh, Naomi, is that you? And she says, Don't call me Naomi. My name is Mara. Now, Naomi means pleasant. Mara means bitter. So she says, Don't call me pleasant. There's nothing pleasant about my life. Call me bitter because God has done this thing to me. Now, let me say this to you God didn't do it to her. Amen? Jesus said, The thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. No, God doesn't bring evil into our lives. When Naomi says that the Lord did this to her, she was not speaking for God. And that was not the voice of a theologian, and that was not the voice of someone who was speaking the Bible. This was the voice of a woman who was discouraged and, and, and downhearted and who was expressing how she felt. It wasn't that God did it, but she felt like God did it. And sometimes you know God didn't do it, but you still feel he did it. Amen. But just because you feel he did it doesn't make it so. God is good. All the time. Say hallelujah. But she felt like God had done this to her. And so she didn't even want to be called pleasant. She decided that her name would be bitter. So there they are, two women, two widows, nobody to help take care of them. One morning in chapter 2, verse 1, and verse 2, we read, There was a relative of Naomi's husband, a man of great wealth, of the family of Elimelech. His name was Boaz. So Ruth the Moabitess said to Naomi, Please let me go to the field and glean heads of green after him, in whose sight I may find favor. And she said to her, Go, my daughter. So N N Ruth gets up in the morning. And she says, you know what? We need to eat. We need some food. There's no husband to, to feed us, no son to feed us. Let me go look for somebody to eat for you and myself. And there was a law in Israel that provided for the poor. If you were very poor, you couldn't work, you had nothing. The law said you could glean from the harvest of others. So while the crops were being harvested, a poor person could, was allowed to follow the harvesters and anything that was left behind, that was not picked up, they could pick up the leftovers. And so her intention that morning was to go to a field and begin to look for some leftovers, to glean in the field, and to bring back some food for herself and her mother. But she says something that morning that captured my attention. She said, let me go and glean in the sight of of one who, with whom I may find favor. Say favor. That morning when she decided to go and look for food, she declared that she was going to find favor. You, you, you got to understand. There's something here about what this woman is saying. She's leaving her house. Things are bad. Things are not good for them. But she's expecting that when she goes, she's going to glean in the field 
of someone who will show her favor. She left her house that day expecting favor. And hear me, your expectation, your attitude, your words affect your experience. You can affect and determine the kind of day you have based upon how you leave your house in the morning. On that particular day, even though things outwardly didn't look too good, Naomi, Ruth left her house expecting favor, confessing favor, believing she will find favor and that God will lead her to somebody who will show her favor. Now, instead of leaving your house tomorrow morning complaining, why don't you consider blessing your day? <laughs> 